Hey guys, this is Robert with the uh, Sharp & Go Mini, Sharp & Go Micro, and uh, I just wanted to respond to some uh, comments that I've had from uh, some some of the guys in the industry, uh, specifically uh, some of the guys selling machines, uh, like uh, the Cymac and stuff. I think uh, one of the movers and drivers in the industry, Bonnie, her husband, I think Gene, he, uh, he, he called my uh, machine a lunchbox sharpener. Well, I, I, you know, because he thinks it's kind of cheesy and cheap, but the thing is, the thing works, man. It's awesome. You can build your own how you want to build it. I give you that option. You can buy my book, download it for 50 bucks, and build your own machine, you know. Or you could uh, just order one for 500 bucks from me, and uh, it's like a, that's a day's work for a, uh, a good sharpener. So uh, just uh, make sure you guys subscribe, because... Uh, I want to get these videos to you and hit the bell, notifications and whatnot. Um, but I'm going to show you a couple of things and tricks that I've used with my machine. And you can also duplicate that with yours. It's uh, tips and tricks. Uh, and uh, one of the things, I'm going to show you this. Oh, one of the things, he called it a lunchbox sharpener. Well, I kind of took that to heart. You know, I said, well, wait a minute. Why don't I just make a, a lunchbox sharpener? <laughs> So I did, you know, so you guys, this is kind of funny, but it's a little old, cute little, little, uh, see if I, you can see it, it's right there, little, cute little lunch box, this little kid's lunch box, and, uh, if you get this little sharp, this little, uh, clip, I kind of redesigned it so it's easier, I got a tail on it, I can grab it, I can just slide it on there, see, just slide that on there, and I can just take it off like this with the tab on it but basically I can set that angle and see if it works well voila look at that now this is only tied to a 12 volt but that's fine now you can now I got the three of them the mini here now I, I did take a wire coated uh, clothes hanger and I used that to clamp that in so it's more secure and it's it's awesome it also works well there. Yeah, that's fine. Goes up 10,000 RPMs. Well, and uh, this one here, I got plugged into a little pigtail that I developed off of. You can get this from any um, auto parts store. One of these little uh, inserts for your cigarette lighter and uh, little power ports. And I just tied. The, the center one is usually positive, so I just tied it to positive. Plug this in. You could just do this on the fly. It has this little power set up for your cordless drill battery. And you don't have to have it put inside, albeit that is an option as well. Yeah, you could put put this stand it up like that and put it in there. But this one here works fine just off of that, you know. I'm kind of simulating with this kind of. Use one of those power boosters you can get from an uh, auto parts store, Harbor Freight. You know, that has a cigarette lighter or power port in there. Plug into it. Plug this into it. And uh, I'll give you all that information on how to build your own. It makes it easier if uh, you take my guidebook, my uh, manual, how to build your own. But these are some of the things I've done. And, and uh, this one is actually better to kind of like do it like this with a pigtail. I mean, it's a lunchbox. I mean, come on. You know, that's kind of cute, fellas. I mean, look, you know, so <laughs> and um, carried around. <laughs> but, uh, hey, it works. And I'm saying it doesn't take a lot. You can have those fancy machines. I use a guide clip because it's, you keep control of that scissor all the time. You don't give away control to a clamp arm, and it is safe to work in a salon environment because of that. If a uh, buddy of mine, Dave, he... He had a clamping system, and he swore by it. He had like 20 years, whatnot. And uh, only takes one time for that thing not to be in that clamp right. And that one time caught him. He was working out of his truck, and uh, it flew off that <coughs> pad. It caught that pad and went right into his stomach. And uh, he had to go to the emergency room. So I'm just saving you from that. Can you imagine if you're working in a salon and that happens, and it goes into the neck of a client <laughs> or 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 into your stomach or something like that. I don't. I would save you that. Howbeit, he's probably did many thousands of sharpenings, but it just took that one time. 
And uh, so this here system, it's five pounds, it's lightweight, you put it on a scooter or motorcycle or whatever, you zip through traffic, you hit those salons, you get done, you get out of there. Now, this is a, this is some, those are one, some of those things that I'm showing you that you can do. And I like to see, I've seen and learned from you guys out in the field what you've done. And just uh, give this a shot. And if you have any questions, I'm open to uh, discussing it. Uh, my number is 949-872-8768. Again, 949-872-8768. You give me a shout, and uh, or you can catch me on, uh, on uh, you can send me an email. i got to fix your shears at gmail.com. Fix your, your is you, uh, are, cheers, and, uh, and you can email me or text, you can text me at that number as well, and, and if you want to get my manual or you want me to order, uh, order your own for 500 bucks, and this is not, Robert, just, you'd make it, now I'll, I'll use it, and I'll send you a manual complimentary, you know, you buy your, your system from me already built, and I will throw in the manual for building your own for free. That not only it serves for you being able to repair the one that you purchase, but you can also build the second one. Now, I am a proponent of having a backup system. <clears throat> now, a backed up sharpening system, this sharpening go system. Why is because, uh, you know, these things get stolen sometimes. You don't secure it, they steal it, it's good to have backup. But this system is not really, I'm, I'm not intending it to replace your existing systems for those hardcore sharpeners that love their system. And I get it, I understand. But if they're a little heavier or bulkier or whatever, and you want to get in there going to a mall or something like that, you don't want to hassle with uh, having to carry your whole system with it. You can throw this over your shoulder and go in there rock and roll. And, and it's a compliment to your system, not to, not to replace it. But how be it, some of the guys, they, they have been using this machine a lot more than they find them, their, their old machine. But, they, you know, the old machine, they might be able to put it in their van or, or in their truck. And when they have multiple scissors, they can come just take it out there and just take care of that, too. But this actually works well with that also in the salon. It just gives you choices. I'm about choices, you know. And uh, you guys have a blessed day. And uh, be aware of your surroundings when you're out there uh, working. And uh, be safe, okay? All right? And be blessed. Y'all have a great day. Bye.